she's not your normal bomb sniffing dog. And that's saying something. This morning, we're introducing you to Rosie, who is paws down the most popular pooch in school. Aww. As Nick Monticelli shows us, she has more than one job as well. Let's find it. Canine Rosie works in the Huron Valley District High Schools, detecting weapons and explosives. Uh, Rosie is uh, trained to detect over 24 explosives. She's already got something. Yes, that's. Good dog, good girl. Yeah, good girl. And what we have here is bullet casings. This was a training exercise inside Milford High School. When she gets on the source, she'll snap her head and stare at me and just sit. Instead of scratching or biting like some police dogs would do, we don't want that with uh, explosives. We don't, <laughs> we don't want to touch that. Check. Rosie is part of a team from Elite Detection Canine, which the district hired to build the layered approach to security. Rosie, turn. Check. There's no one uh, size solution. It's everything combined that creates an environment of safety and security for our students and for staff. It's the reality these students now live in, but Milford's principal says reality does not have to be intimidating. Kids yeah. have to live through that every day, and I think that part of it lessens it for them to know that there's other security measures in place. So now you know that Rosie helps with security. She is an extra layer of protection, and the kids feel it. They will tell you they feel it. But she's also dual purpose because she can also help with mental health. Oh, oh yeah. On their way into school, Rosie is there, yes, sniffing for trouble. But the kids get to ignore her do not pet vest. Because her second job is about their mental and emotional well being. When she's been here with us, I mean, you kind of see that positivity piece as soon as a kid sees Rosie, you know, it, it puts a smile on their face. Hurry. The students will tell you the stress of being a teenager is daunting especially living in today's world where threats and violence are reality. So Rosie can identify a threat if there is one, or she can find a student who needs to smile. Although there have been threats and stuff in the past, she makes me almost feel a little bit safer. For me personally, I kind of think of it more as like a therapy and emotional support dog, but it still does make me feel like the school is more secure and safe that she does know how to do those kind of things. Yeah, that girl, come on. She's a dual purpose canine. Rosie's everyone's best friend. Working two equally important jobs. We got to find different ways to help people. And it's, it's about being a human being and taking care of one another. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. In Milford, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.